This country is mourning today and asking tough questions after a shooting in North Carolina killed three members of a Muslim family. 23-year-old Dia Bakara, Barakat, 21-year-old Yusor Mohammed were both students and newlyweds. They were just married in December. Razan Mohammed Abu Salah, Yusor Mohammed's sister, was just 19 years old. She was studying at NC State. Craig Steen, 46, has now been charged with first-degree murder after turning himself into police. Chapelot police saying their preliminary investigation, though, points to a mundane motive, a fight over parking. But the country's largest Muslim civil rights organization is calling on police to consider the possibility of a hate crime. The Council on American Islamic Relations saying this, we urge state and federal law enforcement authorities to quickly address speculation of a possible bias motive in this case. Joining me now from that organization, Zara Belou. Uh, Zara, thank you for taking the time to join on, on a, a sad day for all of us and certainly for the Muslim community across America. I understand you also actually personally knew this family. What was your reaction when you heard this news? I know relatives of the family. Thank you so much for having me on to, to discuss this. Um, horrified. I, the, the idea that three people would be murdered execution style, three, these three young people, extraordinary students, activists, volunteers in, in their own home um, is, is frightening. And, and, I, and I join the call of my organization and so many others to urge the police department to take this seriously and to investigate the, the very real possibility of a biased motive. Well, what is your response to what the police have said so far? They're saying that this is, according to their preliminary investigation, motivated <clears throat> by a, a parking dispute. I understand that people commit horrible crimes for so many different reasons, but here we have three very visible Muslims. We have a horrific murder, not not just an ordinary dispute, a horrific murder. And then we have what we know about the the, the alleged killer's biased motivations, his Facebook posting, his social media. Altogether, it raises everyone's suspicions and concerns. And so while parking may, may even be a surface level dispute, we urge the police department to, to dig deeper and, and to really investigate these possibilities because people Afraid. And while we don't have all of the facts about this case yet, it is worth pointing out that it's entirely possible, with the definition under the law, for something to be triggered by a parking dispute, as you suggested, and still be Absolutely. a hate crime in terms of the broader motivation. We will see as the facts emerge. Uh, one interesting facet of how this has unfolded today, a, a lot of outrage on social media, and a lot of it directed at the news media in the eyes of a lot of people around the country, uh, you know, news organizations like NBC, uh, CNN, BBC, a lot of international news organizations failed to put the spotlight people wanted on this, especially in the immediate hours after the shootings. What's your reaction to that? Do you think the media got this story wrong? I think the media is is catching up. I think that there needs to be deeper conversations about the the bias and prejudice that comes through in the media and from our elected officials quite often that leads us to situations like this, right? It's not very long ago and it's actually fairly frequent that, that we talk about anti-Muslim prejudice coming through in, in mainstream media and so there are of course concerns about how we get here and then how the media is covering it. I definitely would say that the media is, is catching up. The fact that we're, we're having this conversation is evident that, that it is being covered and so really I, I also want to make sure that we we do focus on what incredible young people these were and making sure that narrative also comes through in the media that these were not just victims that these were incredible American young people and and college students and this new relationship yeah. cut tragically short um, it Absolutely. is a, a headline by any definition uh, thank you so much Zara Belou for for taking the time to discuss this on on such a difficult day I appreciate it thank and I appreciate the work me. your organization does thank you